This week, five key indicators that are signaling where this market is headed. Hi, I'm Norm Fisher from Royal LePage Vidora and Team Fisher. This is the video recap of the Saskatoon Real Estate Week in Review for August 6th to 12th, 2022. Thank you for joining me. Well, first on my list is the lowest number of sales for any week since the first week of April this year. Just 92 Saskatoon homes traded. It's the first time that we've been below 100 units since that time as well. New listings also fell lower to 170 units. Again, the lowest number that we've seen since early April of this year. There's still a fairly large gap between the number of homes that are selling and the number that are coming on the market. That led to a small uptick in the uh, number of active listings that are currently available in Saskatoon. There are now 1,266 homes for sale, and the gap between uh, this year and last year is getting smaller as time goes on, which should bode well for buyers. We see in months of inventory um, an improvement again to 2.9 months in the single family uh, homes category. That is still very clearly in seller's market territory, but compare it to just a few months ago when there was, was a supply of under two months. So we've seen a fairly significant improvement there, and that should continue to improve as demand continues to soften when we move into the fall. Maybe most importantly, this week, just 12 homes sold over the list price. That's 13% of uh, overall sales, the smallest percentage that we've seen in many months. The average overbid on those about $8,700, which is also small in comparison to what we're used to. This week, 69 of 92 sales went below list. On average, a little over $14,000. So definitely, um, moving back in the direction of balanced territory. If you'd like more, teamfisher.com forward slash blog. Have a great weekend.